Black Lives Matter celebration happening at the University of Arizona. It started earlier this afternoon. Now on your side, Luzelia Caballero is there now with more. Luzelia? Well, Tasha, we've been here for over two hours now. People really started coming here uh, before 2.30. And now take a look around. There are thousands of people. And as you mentioned, yes, they are saying this is a celebration of, quote, black lives to address inequality, not only in America, but across the world. They are standing up against injustice everywhere and standing up against police brutality as uh, para is panning around. You can see a tent. That tent has water in it. Of course, it's hot outside, so they're making sure people are hydrated. And it is a peaceful protest. Again, thousands of people showing up to stand up against police brutality. And on the stage, uh, performers have been going on all day. We've had musicians, speakers, and even young children talking about their struggle in America. Very, very powerful words. So we are going to get back to this event and eventually talk to a young man who is encouraging folks to vote when it is time. We will hear from him in just a little bit, but for now, live from the University of Arizona here at the mall, Lucelia Caballero, Kagan 9 on your side. All right, Lucelia, thank you. Now let's go to Sierra Encinas, who is also at the U of A campus. So Sierra, what are you seeing right now? Yeah, take a look behind me. This is another angle of this gathering today to celebrate the lives of black people, not only in our community, but around the entire United States. Take a look, several people holding signs, listening to the performers, as Luz Delia mentioned. I'm actually live here, joined by Carlin Bradley, one of the performers, actually a speaker today. Carlin and I actually went to school together. Carlin has organized several events for the black community on campus. Tell me a little bit about what you said today on stage and why it matters so much. Um, yeah, so it is important because this event was a way for black folks to, I think, explicitly speak about the experiences that they're having, opposed to um, talking about things in a, in a certain framework, right? So like when we're protesting, we're protesting a very specific singular aspect of ourselves, whereas this event was to talk about how blackness is multifaceted and how we're more than just the traumatic, horrible things that happen to us. So what was what would you say the key message was today from your speech? Because it was very captivating today. Um, for me, the thing that I really wanted for folks to understand is that police brutality is only one facet of the violence that black people face, that there are all kinds of things that happen interpersonally that a lot of folks here probably participate in. And I really want for folks to look inward to themselves and figure out how am I doing these things that are still harmful and violent to black people? They may not be murdering us, but like there are other ways that people act out violence onto black folks. And do you think that message was received today? I think so, yeah. Thank you so much, Carlin. I appreciate it. All right, guys, we'll bring you another look out here at 10 o'clock. Reporting live at U of A, Sierra Encinas. Okay, good night on your side. All right.